Miss Eiley from the Yonkers Library in New York, but for now I'm at home with all of my favorite books and I'd love to read them with you. Let's sing our welcome song, shall we? Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Stories old and stories new. Fun for me and fun for you. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Today, we are taking a trip to Paris. And our first story is from Richard Scarry's Busy Busy World about Pierre, the Paris policeman. And that is a whole city of Paris. You can see the Eiffel Tower. And there is Pierre. Pierre was directing traffic when suddenly he heard someone shout, Stop that robber! Stop that robber! A robber had stolen some jewels from a store. The robber ran to his car. There he goes. Pierre hopped on his bicycle and chased after the robber. He blew his whistle furiously. Breed, breed. Through the crowded streets they raced. There's Pierre. Where is that robber? There he is. It's going past the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Suddenly, the robber's car crashed into a sidewalk cafe. The robber ran into the restaurant. Breed! Pierre followed him. Breed! Into the kitchen. Where's the robber? He roared at the chef. The chef hadn't seen any robber. Poor Pierre, he had lost the robber. Mmm, that soup you are cooking smells good, said Pierre. May I taste it? He put in his paw. Look what he found. The robber. The robber had hidden in the soup. Before Pierre took the robber away to be punished, they all had some soup. This is the best soup ever, said the chef to the robber. Perhaps. After you have been punished for stealing, you will come back and help me make soup all the time. We will call it robber soup. Everyone thought that was a good idea. The end. And now, how about we sing a French song called Frère Jacques. And it goes like this. Frère Jacques. Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John, brother John? Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. And our second story is about a very famous girl from Paris called Madeline. And the story is by Ludwig Bemelmans. In an old house in Paris, that was covered in vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed.
they smiled at the good. They frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain, or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo. And nobody knew quite so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried, her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed over to the phone. And he dialed Danton 106. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up in two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had a habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four, said the sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far, on her stomach, was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread brush their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, 
Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out, too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and close the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. And that's the end. And now it's time for us to say au revoir and sing our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Story time was so much fun. We are done, but don't be blue. Next time we'll read something new. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Next time we'll have lots more fun. Goodbye.